Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared the new topic for you, Architectural Design, Episode 1. But before we start guys, if you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe para maging updated ka sa mga videos and topics like this na makakatulong sa pag-review mo. So let's start. Number 1. In residential, the table requirement per person for a crowded seating is arranged from blank centimeters on table perimeter. A. 50 to 55 centimeter. B. 60 to 65 centimeter. C. 40 to 45 centimeter. And D. None of the above. Answer. A. 50 to 55 centimeter. Next. In residential, the minimum clearance between wall and furniture is. A. 2 to 4 centimeter. B. 5 to 7 centimeter. C. 8 to 10 centimeter. And D. 12 to 15 centimeter. Answer. B. 5 to 7 centimeter. Next. In residential, the size of 3 quarter bed is blank. A. 90 to 96 by 230 centimeter. B. 155 by 230 centimeter. C. 135 by 230 centimeter. And D. 180 by 230 centimeter. Answer. C. 135 by 230 centimeter. Next. In home for the elders, what is the recommended clearance distance between bed if more space are available for two-person occupancy? Again, in home for the elders, what is the recommended clear distance between beds if more space are available for two-person occupancy? A. 60 cm B. 80 cm C. 70 cm And D, 90 centimeter. Answer? D, 90 centimeter. Next, in low buildings, the elders should not climb to a stair more than one flight. Likewise, ramp should not be more than blank slope. A, 5%. B, 8%. C, 10%. And D, 12%. Answer? A, 5%. Next, in offices, what is a suitable distance of desk from the front of the desk behind it? A, 1.5 meters. B, 1.8 meters. C, 2.10 meters. And D, 2.5 meters Answer B 1.8 meters Next With reference to the question number 6 The distance should be increased to blank when the desks are in rows of 2 A 1.5 meters B 1.8 meters C 2.10 meters and D 2.5 meters Answer C 2.10 meters Next In bus terminals there are four types of platform loading Blank is considered as the most efficient type which require a minimum front The wide space at the rear permits an easy maneuver of the bus A parallel loading B. Right angle loading and C. Radial saw tooth loading and D. None of the above. Answer C. Radial saw tooth loading. 
Next. Bus terminals are classified into four categories. Blank is usually in downtown core accessible directly by local bus, taxi, and auto. This type of terminal includes long haul or package express services and provides greater number of bus movements. A. Intercity bus terminal. B. Urban suburban commuter terminal. C. Airport city terminal. And D. Suburban inter-province terminal. Answer? A. Intercity bus terminal. Next, other classified bus terminal is a passenger collection and distribution center or a rapid transit feeder station. It is characterized by a diversified bus route and high turnover commuter type bus operation. A. Intercity bus terminal B. Urban suburban commuter terminal C. Airport city terminal and D. Suburban Inter-Province Terminal Answer B. Urban Suburban Commuter Terminal Next, with reference to the image below, the ramp breakover angle for a slope should not be greater than blank. A. 8 degrees B. 10 degrees C. 12 degrees and D 15 degrees answer B 10 degrees next for res residential a simple passage for back seated chair should have a minimum clearance of blank as shown in image B again for residential a simple passage for back seated chair should have a minimum clearance of blank as shown in image B. A. 40 cm B. 90 cm C. 60 cm and D. 100 cm Answer B. 90 cm Next, in designing a community library, the architect should consider a favorable book shelving height for adult man and woman. What should be the maximum height of book shelf? A. 160 cm B. 180 cm C. 170 cm and D. 190 cm Answer B. 190 180 cm. Next, for residential, a simple passage between low objects such as sofa and coffee table, the pathway should have a minimum clearance of blank. A. 40 cm B. 60 cm C. 90 cm and D. 100 cm Answer a. 40 cm Next, in human cone or vision, what is the angle or of intense focus area? Again, in human cone of vision, what is the angle of intense focus area? A. 20 degrees B. 30 degrees C. 45 degrees and D. 60 degrees Answer B. 30 degrees Next, an apartment that is not more than 4 story Again, an apartment that is not more than 4 story A. Apartel B. Condotel C. Tenement and D. Townhouse Answer C. Tenement. Next, a luxurious facility for water vessels, yacht, and lavish fine dining can be found. 
A. Marina B. Bay C. Promenade D. Corniche Answer A. Marina Next This is an approach to architectural design that considers the entire range of capacities and potential of people and how they use buildings and products throughout their lives. A. Universal Design B. Architectural Design C. Architectural Analysis and D. Design Programming Answer A. Universal Design Next Rooms intended for any use not provided with artificial ventilation system shall be provided with the windows with a total free area of opening equal to at least 10% of the floor area of the room provided that such opening shall not be less than blank square meter A. 0 0.8 square meter B. 1.2 square meter C. 1 square meter and D. 1.8 square meter Answer C. 1 square meter Next Sunlight kills many types of bacteria In residential design, where is the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry is oriented? A. North B. South C. East and D. West Answer D. West Next, which mock-up do you need to provide in order to achieve the correct color combination of glass panel required by a meticulous architect on its building facade? A. Performance mock-up B. Product mock-up C. Visual mock-up and D. Fabrication mock-up Answer C. Visual mock-up Next For a more playful feel in a recreation structure, diagonal lines are recommended. Why? A. Create a more formal atmosphere B. Attract attention and lead to eye. C. Create a restful, informal feeling. And D. None of the above. Answer. B. Attract attention and lead the eye. Next. Guideline in the planning and design of treatment and rehabilitation facilities. Bathroom and toilet. There shall be at least one bathroom, one toilet, and one lavatory is in good working condition for every blank patient. The bathroom and toilet shall not be provided with locks except those for the exclusive use of administrative staff. A. One patient B. Ten patient C. Five patient and D. Twenty patients Answer B. 10 patients There shall be at least one bathroom, one toilet, and one laboratory in good condition for every 10 patients. The bathroom and toilet shall not be provided with locks except those for the exclusive use of administrative staff. Next This is based on analysis of the climate and ambient energy presented by sun wind, temperature, and humidity. This is responsive to specific region and microclimates, thus provide an enduring inspiration for architecture. A. Macroclimate design B. Sustainable design C. Microclimate design and D. Bioclimatic design Answer D. Bioclimatic Design Next, 
what shall be the space of dining area for six person? Again, what shall be the space of dining area for six person? A. 300 cm by 420 cm B. 3 m by 4 m C. 3 m by 4.5 m and D. 300 cm by 480 cm Answer A. 300 cm by 420 cm Next what shall be the minimum size of living room with no dining facilities? Again, what shall be the minimum size of a living room with no dining facilities? A. 140 square feet B. 180 square feet C. 220 square feet and D. 100 square feet Answer B. 180 square feet Next, a restaurant has a dining area of 500 square meter. What shall be the minimum area for the kitchen? A. 250 to 260 square meter B. 120 by 130 square meter and C. 160 by 170 square meter and D. 200 to 210 square meter answer C 160 to 170 square meter next what kind of a treatment should be best fit the facade of the garment factory a more on steel B more on concrete with less glass and steel C combination of concrete and plastic and D more on glass and steel with less concrete again what kind of treatment should be best fit the facade of a garment factory answer D more on glass and steel with less concrete next what shall be the minimum size of a private office? Again, what shall be the minimum size of a private office? A. 6 square meter B. 10 square meter C. 18 square meter and D. 30 square meter Answer B. 10 square meter Next what is the appropriate elevator to use in office and residential floors? Again, what is the appropriate elevator to use in office and residential floors? A. Hydraulic elevator B. Freight elevator C. Electric elevator and D. Passenger lift Answer C. Electric elevator. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, architectural design question, episode one. Uh, I hope you learned something and you got some idea about this uh, topic. I wish you luck, guys, uh, pag pagrereview nyo and sa darating na board exam. I hope na maapasa na kayo. So good luck and thank you again for watching this video. Thank you. Bye.